Hey guys, so in today's video we're looking at the Dodge Demon Roadster concept car. Obviously we all know about the real Dodge Demon that released in 2018, but the original Demon concept was a whole lot different. I always love looking through the old concept cars that Chrysler kept putting out and thinking about what could have been if they had been released. For these types of videos I like to go in depth on just one concept and give you all the information that I could possibly find. I've already done the 1997 Dodge Copperhead, 2005 Chrysler Firepower, 2004 Chrysler ME 412, and the 2006 Chrysler Imperial. So let's get started. On screen you'll see the layout for these types of videos. The Dodge Demon Roadster was a two-seater rear-wheel drive concept car from Daimler Chrysler that was first unveiled at the 2007 Geneva Auto Show. The Demon was compact and nimble with a blend of both classic and modern sports car design and performance. My name is Jay Chung. I'm the exterior designer of Dodge Demon. Dodge Demon is a compact, nimble, it's roster with an attitude. The goal was to have this concept slide in under the Dodge Viper to provide buyers with a more affordable sports car option that was powerful, bold, and fun to drive. The Demon was designed to compete with the likes of the Pontiac Solstice, Saturn Sky, and Mazda Miata MX-5. For many years, the Miata had dominated the segment with no one to challenge them, so when competition started emerging from the likes of Pontiac and Saturn, Dodge wanted to get in and steal some sales as well. Dodge began marketing the Demon as the Dodge Viper's little brother. In my mind, there was a Dodge Viper, which is uh, the icon for the American sports car. But I was thinking, okay, Let's uh, design a car for everybody, attainable dream car for everybody. And attainable it was, as the starting price for a base model was projected to be just $15,000. Even if we account for inflation, since 2007 was over 12 years old now, the cost would still be just $18,560 in today's dollars, which would be a very affordable price tag for the car regardless. As for the Demon name, it was taken from the two-door fastback coupe variant of the 1971-1972 Dodge Dart. The Demon has an interesting geometric design. Head designer Jay Chung said, quote, The exterior design is simple yet bold, featuring an energetic combination of curves and intersecting planes, end quote. And this statement definitely holds true to the car. He also said, quote, I wanted a simple, unified look that was aggressive and had some Viper DNA in it, end quote. The first thing you'll see for the design of the Demon is a signature Dodge Crosshair grille with a very aggressive and menacing opening that seems to pull the car forward. This grille really reminds me of the second generation 2011-2014 Dodge Charger grille. And the car is also very reminiscent of the Miata. The projector headlights shine through black chrome bezels and the darker headlights give the car a very sleek and mean look that works very well with the overall design. And at the top of the hood you can find two recessed air outlets. The side flows over the front wheel and then swoops down to an awkward vent on the rear fender. That vent is there with a purpose though, to direct cooling air to the rear brakes. The flow continues over the rear wheels and then into the rear of the car. The back end of the car seems to be split into three pieces with one panel in the center and then two flanking on each side. The taillights are thin and narrow in the shape of a trapezoid and there are LED reverse lights. As for the color of the concept, the official paint name was Bright Amber Pearl. The Demon's interior was crafted with practicality in mind. My name is Dan Zimmerman. I'm senior designer and I'm responsible for the Dodge Demon concept car interior. The interior designer of the car, Dan Zimmerman, spoke about the inside, saying, quote, In the manner of timeless British sports cars, the interior of the Dodge Demon is purposely functional, not frivolous. Everything related to the driving experience is emphasized, while that which is not is made visually secondary, end quote wanted to make this thing feel like it was upscale but not have the upscale treatments that you'd find in every car like we stayed away from the leather we went with a mechanical grain um, uh, vinyl and we, we really wanted to put the emphasis on the uh, finished quality of the interior and the color of choice was carbon black the first thing that jumps out at you is the brushed aluminum center console where you'll also find cup holders the emergency handbrake window switches a 12 volt power outlet and the manual shift knob the brushed aluminum also continues across the upper portion of the instrument panel. In front of the driver, there's a timeless three-spoke open steering wheel design with more brushed aluminum accents. The cluster features four gauges with white on black dials, and they were created to look similar to sports watches, detailed with silver and chrome bezel rings. 
we got into designing the gauge faces, we really wanted to have kind of a scientific value to them. So we looked at high-end sports watches. We wanted something that communicated uh, an athletic appeal and something that was very bold and scientific. The doors also feature brushed aluminum bezels on the handle and lower portion. The seats have low gloss carbon fiber shells, but they look pretty basic without much support or bolsters. The fabric stands out with silver stitching found all over the seat. And behind the seats, there are brushed aluminum and carbon fiber roll bars and some extra storage. Moving on to performance, the Demon had a 2.4 liter four cylinder world engine that produced 172 horsepower and 165 pound feet of torque to go along with a six speed manual transmission and rear wheel drive. On the possible production versions, a sequential automatic would have been offered, and they were thinking about a 300 horsepower turbo option, which could have doubled as an SRT version as well. The car was extremely light, weighing in at just 2,600 pounds. Dodge said the Demon could go 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds, with a quarter mile time in the mid 15 second range, and the car had a top speed of 130 miles per hour. So this gives the Demon comparable performance to the Solstice, Sky, and Miata. I'll post some other specs on screen, but overall the Demon was 250 pounds lighter than the Solstice and Sky, and 150 pounds heavier than the Miata. As for the wheels, they are 19 by 8 inch brushed aluminum open spoke rims with a design that's also full of curves and different shapes. The Demon was never formally cancelled, but it slowly faded away. The major reason was the financial crisis of 2008, along with mismanagement. In 2007, around the time of the Demon debut, Daimler was looking to sell off Chrysler, and they sold most of the shares to Cerberus Capital Management. The story is that due to Cerberus not understanding how to run a car company and not investing enough capital in the brand, along with the auto industry collapse, that Chrysler would come crashing down and declare bankruptcy by April of 2009. Of course that would derail all plans for the Demon, as funding was put into other more viable projects to keep Chrysler alive, but the idea of the Demon concept would stick around for a while. So there was lots that happened regarding the Demon between 2007 to 2018, Originally Dodge did want to take the concept to production and they were keen to use certain materials and construct the concept in a way to make the production of the car feasible. The concept car they brought to the auto show was also fully functional. There were several efforts made by Chrysler, first signing a partnership between Dodge and the Cherry brand in China in 2008. The two companies were going to work on a front wheel drive platform to be used on a Sherry hatchback and the Demon, but that hatchback never came and neither did the front wheel drive platform due to the financial crisis. In 2010, there were also rumors that the Demon would share a rear-wheel drive platform with the upcoming Alfa Romeo Spider, but that never happened either. In 2012, Fiat Chrysler announced they would collaborate with Mazda to build an Alfa Romeo Spider on the same platform as the Miata, but by this time, all the Demon talk was pretty much gone. In 2014, FCA finally chose to build a Fiat Roadster based off of the Miata, while Alfa Romeo would make their own version. So we ended up with the Fiat 124 Spider and the Alfa Romeo 4C, which are both lightweight, rear-wheel drive, and roadsters. Unfortunately, this segment has slowed to a halt, with all of these cars selling just a few thousand units each year in the US. And finally, in 2018, there was a Demon released, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. This was the ultimate drag racing machine, carrying an $85,000 price tag, 840 horsepower, and a 0-60 to 60 in 2.3 seconds. So in the end, the Demon was much different than the original concept from 11 years ago. As always, we have to ask ourselves, what if the Demon had made it? I think it would have been fairly popular, and that the right market was being targeted. Few could afford the Viper, but many wanted one, so this would give buyers a much cheaper, fun, safer, and still aggressive looking roadster that had decent performance to match. It made sense, since Dodge wanted a fighter in the Roadster segment, and they could have added various models or even an SRT version with a higher but still affordable price tag. A rear-wheel drive compact driver's car from Dodge could have been a game changer. Unfortunately, the Demon couldn't have come at a worse financial time for Chrysler, and we only ever got to see the concept. Well that's the end of this video guys, what did you think of the Demon concept? Hopefully you enjoyed it, and make sure to like and subscribe for more Mopar content, and let me know which other concept car videos that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.